Let's call a meeting over here. <laughs> <laughs> like, Do you need a gavel? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> so, agenda additions and deletions. Nothing. Approval of the select board minutes from 5.15 and 6.00. I'll make a motion. Okay. For both. So, Bruce will need to second the one for May 15th because neither Carol, Carolyn or myself were there. So we still don't have enough. You still don't have enough. People to. Yeah. For that one. The for the 15th? Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, so we table that one. Okay. So I'll make a motion for the 6th. Uh, the 5th. Yeah. Okay. And I second that. Any discussion? Let's see. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Pay orders for June twentieth. It's just curious, Julie, did the uh, governor, did Gary, split out? What the costs were for the ECA versus. Yep. And you got the bills right there. Right here. Yep. Here's the twenty-three twenty-five. I was just wondering how much did you want of that? Oh, this one. I found it. I make a motion to approve the pay orders as of June 20th, 2023 in the amount of $214,087.44. A second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Hey, can we go back and clean up the uh, select board minutes from 515? Yep, we can now that Justin's here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second it. What had to get changed for that? Because that wasn't here last Nothing, time. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. It just... was only you three were here. Oh, right. So we couldn't. Yeah, okay. We couldn't vote on right, 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 right. Okay. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> but now you're here. Now I'm here. Aye. 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 And two abstain. Table out again. Good job. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Do you want to go to honorable mentions? It might be handy. We'll we'll jump to honorable mentions here. Mm -hmm. So we want to thank the ARPA committee for their uh, diligent work on 27 applications and submitting a final report to the select board with spending recommendations. Um, let's get that one. Ann Ewad, Burt Jones, 
Colin Whitehouse and Cynthia and Richard Holden for beautifying the gardens around the boy with the boot, and Ken Welch and David Castingway for assisting with the requests for proposals for town hall projects. And for Bruce Duchesne for filling in at the transfer station. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we all, can I also ask you all to speak up a little? Sure. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so that's on for mentions. Public comments. Public comments. No? Fiscal year 24 law enforcement agreement. So, Contract is based on what we budgeted for the year. Okay. Is there, there's nothing different looking over the contract itself that jumped out, right? No, it's the same. No, it's part of the plate. Yeah. Okay. Other than the hours and totals. Yeah, it's. Other than the four hours increase, it's the uh, right. same as it's always been. Okay. Have we ever been double charged? Because we never really ask, they just come when we can, right? Like when they work into their schedule, because there's that part about being double charged if they're in training. Why? I'm just curious. Not, not that we have to go into it. But. I'm, I make a motion to approve the law enforcement contract. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Long for day. <laughs> We're moving quickly tonight. So this, should, this should be brief too. Um, I just wanted. This is our last meet. Your last meeting before Wallingford Day actually happens. So, which is really exciting. Um, and first, everyone's invited, of course. And I hope everybody who's in town is able to come because it should be a kind of good one. Um, and I just wanted to just go over really one detail that something that was came up for discussion last year, um, which was the bike parade. And, and we, there were, I, I remember when I came to the select board that we talked about it and it was, it was just, we just wanted to make sure everybody was safe for it. And it, it went really smoothly last year. There's one little hitch this year, which is that there's a large sign on the street that we went on last time that I don't think is appropriate for children to go by. Like have a, a parade that is for our young people to be on. So we're thinking of shifting the parade to River Street instead, which also, makes us, we have fewer street crossings that way, so in that way it's going to be safer. And less traffic. And less traffic, exactly. It's just a quieter street. Yeah. And, and if people are, and it, it was more about the, the movement than it was about people on either side. So I just wanted to check and make sure that that was acceptable. So then River, like sometimes I get confused with River Street. River Street comes back then on or is that elm that comes back over the tracks again? River Street comes up over the tracks. Okay. It crosses the tracks either way because the parking lot by True Temper where right. we set up, yeah. we yeah. had to cross the tracks cool. to get onto to Railroad Street. Okay. And this way we cross, um, actually sort of in a more controlled place because right. it's, a, right. it's a stop there. Yeah. Yeah. It's an actual There's a stop and then also <clears throat> it, you can be kind of spread out because the kids, I remember last year, it was like we kind of spread out quite quickly. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. I just wanted to make sure that that shifted. I think it sounds like a safer route, actually, to me. So that's what I was feeling. A little too. bit more monitored, so mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with the change. And other than that, everything is pretty much going according to plan. Um, with the activities more around the village center in the morning, and then shifting in the afternoon with the bike parade. We haven't. We're going to be setting the schedule. The firmly. 
the schedule will be finished and firm by this Thursday night when we have our next meeting. Um, but firm, as firm as it gets when you're hurting cats. <laughs> right, right, right. Allowing for you know adjustments as needed. But um, so and then it'll shift down there. There'll be a um, dance on the field. Yes. Um, sort of. But what is that? Three. The, the contra dance is going to be around five. Around five, and then um, the plum bobs are going to play, yes. and then D the Brett, the DJ who was here last time, is going to Brett. play the last yeah. bit yeah. until the fireworks. Yep. Nice. Excellent. And there will be there will be food trucks down up here in the morning, down at the um, the field in the afternoon, and then and then Michelle is also getting a few to put on her property by the block. And she's going to have more of a um, outdoor older, contained older, older crowd. crowd there with maybe some music on the block patio, and from like two to eight until before fireworks. Before okay. fireworks. So for people who don't want to go down to the right field, or right. you know, okay. And the same case will be as far as parking. That was another question actually I was going to bring up. Parking. Um, we're going to do as much as we can to encourage people, anyone who can. The farther you can walk, that's how far away you should park. <laughs> and um, we're going to block off the end of Meadow Street so that that can be a turnaround in the event of emergency or anything else. We'll block that off. Um, and then we'll open it up after the fireworks for people to turn around and leave. So people won't be parking up that far a lot at the end. And we're going to block off to the, if we can, the, the little driveway that goes around back that people use to go fishing. Because that's, I mean, that's an emergency. I feel like that's a good emergency lane, and it's also for our musicians to bring their equipment Oh, great. In. Okay. So. And then we just have one question, which would be, um, Mark, you were, I believe, talking to Green Mountain Power about a town sign thing. That we're was still the last waiting for them or someone to, from them to, get back. to get back to us with the agreement. So okay, I, mean, I, so I, don't, I don't, Sandy, they were going to talk with you directly. So. I didn't get it. We got, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, maybe we can I'll draw some note tomorrow. Thank but. you. Um, so we're guessing that be, based on Awesome Graphics timeline and more importantly, V Trans's approval timeline, we're guessing that we won't have it up for this year. But if we could get the infrastructure in place, I would actually do the permit for V Trans for next year, this year. Like I would start the ball rolling so that we're good and done. Mm -hmm. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Okay, and then we may order the sign and have it lower down, but that's right. Problem. Well, that's like I said. I'll reach out to Green Mountain Power. I'll just awesome. drop her a note in the morning and say we're we're eager just there. see where it is. She did tell said she was going to yeah. email I, it out to us the agreement. Appreciate so. it. Appreciate it. Just yeah. so we are in the loop and know where we stand with what yeah. we're hanging and who we're asking to do what. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks. So, the energy committee isn't here yet. Okay. The committee isn't here yet. That committee's not here yet. Liquor license. Monica is. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. 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 So I bet it's a big surprise to everybody that I'm hoping to open a market. Thank <laughs> oh, you. Thanks. Um, next spring. The, um, as part of my business plan, I would like to include an 802 liquor store in town again. And it's a pretty convoluted process. Um, the Department of Liquor came here and looked at the site for um, compliance or any roadblocks that they could see for um, the location, the space allotted in our business plan or our site plan for backstop, for security. Um, and everything passed there. Um, it was uh, Rich and, and Dusty came and looked at the site, and everything passed their um, their guidelines. And then the second step was to, when they opened the bid process a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. was to submit a letter of intent, which I did. And then um, things seem to break down on their website. <laughs> the, the application is actually due on Friday. So as far as I could tell, and from the information I received today, the first step is to come to you and ask for a um, beer and wine second class um, license, which I've applied for. And so that comes to the village and you approve it and then 
I'm able to move along with the liquor store, the 802 Spirits application, which is due Friday. So they need they need approval from the town just for a regular beer and wine before they'll do the As far as I can tell, today was a holiday and nobody really got back to me about those specifics, but it has right. been bumped up to the director of the Department of Liquor to make sure that it's not a problem on their website for me applying for the The for website the has some broken links. I'm working with Monica. <laughs> the website has some broken links. It's a little nerve-wracking because I have a two-week window mm -hmm. after okay. three years of planning and yeah. all of this process. So I'm here tonight to ask for permission ultimately for a, a approval for an 802 Spirits store as part of the market at the block. And all I could all I could do was fill out the second class liquor um, application, which I paid for. If you guys, got a copy I think it, I think it gets That's bumped the up. Wine and beer, right? Yeah, I think it gets bumped up to the next level, pending your approval, and that going to the Department of Liquor. Okay. Okay. That's my understanding. Julie, doesn't doesn't this usually go to you and they pay a fee? Before it comes to she laws. paid the fee. She's paid the fee? Okay. You have the application. Okay. So we're all clear on that? You just approve it and then I just go online tomorrow and say that it's approved. Do okay. You, do you need a motion? It's do you online, yeah. yeah. Um, I'd like to make a motion to approve the liquor license application for Wallingford Village Market. I'll second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> On to your next steps. Yes, to the next steps. Uh, nothing like making it happen in a hurry, yeah? Except what? So nothing like making it happen in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. It's been three nice. years in the process. And then they yeah, give you a week. And they give you a Oh, no, no, two weeks. weeks. They haven't actually yeah. warned everybody in the area that might have an interest in it. Oh. So it was actually um, posted on there for the town of Wallingford and Pono was posted just two weeks ago. Oh. So it's the, it's part of their internal process to make it transparent. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Might as well go on to Gilbert Herbert. Yeah. <laughs> Gilbert Hart <laughs> Library calls mail request. Each year, the library officials request the use of the town's bulk mail permit to send out fundraising letters. Um, it doesn't cost us anything. Mm -hmm. We've always approved it in the past. You want to approve the request, or uh, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the request for to use our bulk mailing permit for the library's annual appeal. Is that a second? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll abstain Oops. from this one. Yep. <laughs> I understand that. Did you get that, Kathy? Yeah. I understand. Yep, thank you. Okay. Wait, just before we go any further, because I just realized something. Kathy, you're abstaining because because uh, Michael is, is the, the chair or just on the board? Because then I should abstain because Abby's on the board. Well, because he's the chair of the board. And okay. He, like, approves, like, everything. So I'm abstaining <laughs> from it <laughs> no, no, that's like, I'm just wanting to make sure whether or not I should abstain in the same situation. I don't think Abby has the same sort of... <laughs> the cloud delega or, okay. yeah, yeah. delegation yes. responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Th so I think go. you're okay. 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 Good. good. I just want to make sure we didn't have to do that whole thing again. No, I, hear what you, I hear what you're saying, but I think you're good. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. You're not going to profit from this, right? <laughs> no, no, no way. I'm not. <laughs> so you're fine then. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh. I make a motion. We only have one meeting in July. Oh, Second. <laughs> I'll for that. That was quick. <laughs> Sorry to jump the gun, Bruce, but I saw that. So I, can't <laughs> I think Sandy's already posted the date, didn't he? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, all those in favor of one meeting in July? Aye. 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 No. <laughs> what? 
And Simi is arrived. Simi is here, so why don't we back up and go back? <laughs> cruising tonight. We're cruising tonight. Let's say all kinds of proximates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hour ahead. <laughs> so you're ready to talk with us? Yeah. Um, so um, we, the rec committee, um, chose um, our, the vendors that we want to use, but we can discuss it. Um, so we got two. Two estimates for plumbing and two estimates for excavation. And we want to go with Kevin Ruane uh, for the excavation because uh, the FAS uh, floor is kind of more, um, you know, it could be end up being less, but then it could be end up being more. And Kevin, it's, it's a fixed 600, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. And so we just thought that would be the same. Plus, Kevin is uh, available to do it soon. Um, uh, we wanted to use Bill Lowson. He's a little, he, his estimate was uh, quite a bit cheaper. Um, so he's going to do it for a fixed rate to 1200 bucks. Uh, both are equivalent. We're getting the same thing from both quotes. Um, and that'd be a curse. Uh, a curb stop at the building that's uh, when it's shut it self drains so that'll drain the piping in the building when the curb stop is shut um, there'll be an isolation valve inside the building and then on the outside there'll be a spring loaded uh, faucet um, Chris the town Water operator will um, inspect the piping when it's not covered back up with dirt, and he'll he'll install the meter. Um, so his he said the annual fee to um, open and close the curb stop during the, for the winter and drain it is uh, twenty five bucks, and so it'd be that'd be twice a year, so it'd be fifty bucks a year. Um, we checked with um, the fire district clerk, um, and she said we don't need a new permit because uh, we're, uh, I guess they, since they had water at the park in the past, and there's already a curb stop on the road, we're just using that same line, so there's no need to do a new permit. Yeah, so, um, has Kevin, has Kevin done work for the town in the past? Does we need an insurance certificate from okay. him? Has Kevin done work for the town? Okay. So we'll need an insurance certificate. We're going to need an agreement, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to need a contract with him. And okay. I'm leaving in the morning. I can't. Right. Okay, so that wow. same thing that I got Dale to sign. Well, he's, he's going to need to sign an um, employee work agreement yeah. and an actual contract to do the work, plus the insurance certificates. Okay. It's, I mean, it, one of, it, it's the difference if it's under 600 or over 600. So. Okay, it's right at 600. It's, it's 600 even. Well, I mean, his. Uh, we'd have to check with Jill, and you could check with Jill in the morning. It might be 600 and under, so you wouldn't need a contract for him. You would with Bill, though. Bill Lawson for 1200 Okay, so um, does Bill know how to, to do that? Or what, what no, I mean, the, I mean, the town needs to provide a contract to him. Okay, so you're going to give that to me? No, I no. don't have time. I'm, I'm leaving I mean, first thing in the morning. You get back. Yes. Okay. Yes. I just didn't, I didn't know when the work was going to happen. Um, Bill says he can do it 
whenever Kevin is ready to do it. Okay. Yeah, I can we certainly can do, do it as well. Okay. Yeah, the forms. Uh, okay, great. Hey, Bruce. I know it's only six hundred dollars to Kevin, but is that something that the road crew can do? Seems that we have our own excavator sitting down there. I wonder. We're just about digging that. a hole. Yeah, I wondered about that myself. I mean, it's not like it's saving a lot of water, but it's also yeah. on town property. It's also benefiting the town. It's something you know the town's doing. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't see why they couldn't. I, the only thing I worry about is. They're always so busy, and we know that Kevin is available, and he can do it pretty soon. Yeah. And we also we need to worry about the time because we need to get this done fairly soon because it's a 22-23 expenditure. Um, well, we're not gonna we won't have a contract in place until the second week of July, anyways. Right. So you won't have a con you won't get a contract out to whoever until that time. I mean Bruce is I right not Bruce, but um, Bill's already got an agreement with the town, I believe, because he works for the town every year, turning the water on and off and that type of thing. So I don't know if we need a additional agreement with Bill. We don't have I mean that's just he just volunteers for that. We we don't oh, have an okay. agreement with him on that. So okay. So we'd have to get a contract from Bill anyway. His is over 600. Right. Yeah. Okay. But that would just, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's 600 dollars, but that would give the. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just thinking, you know, give the road crew a little bit of time to plan for it. You know, being two plus weeks out. So it just, I mean, it doesn't. I don't think it matters for 600 bucks. Right? Saves you guys a little money on your budget. Yeah. I mean, just I don't know if it's worth it. Would you like to see if the we'll town can do it in a timely manner? If Phil shows up, maybe we can discuss yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. We could bring it up when Phil comes tonight. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it as long as uh, we don't delay things such that we, we lose this opportunity. Yeah. Because right. you, know, you, know, you won't see it until the second week of July anyway. Right. At, at, at the earliest. Exactly. So. Does that mean that they can't use the funding then, because it'll be past the date, or? When is the meeting in July? 17th. 17. 17. Yeah. And then when's the first meeting in August? August 7th. Ideally, I'd like to close the books with the last pay order on the 17th. Okay. So we'd have to, we'd have to have Road crew slash Kevin do it by, by the by the. Oh, put it on the pay order. And okay. Pull the check. Okay. But need the amount by then. Okay. Right. So need the amount well, by then. So. Right. The only problem would be is if they don't spend that six hundred dollars, then they have to find between now and then find something else to, right. to spend their budget on. Or no. Well, they, they don't have to spend that. Well, you know what I mean. But they don't have to uh, spend. Right, true. <laughs> I know, but I'm just. No, we we are fine letting it roll under the general fund. If, Okay. You know, use it for this. Okay. So I guess then we'll, we'll table that until Phil gets back, and then we can figure out. But anyway, it's going to be second week in July. I have one other question. Somewhere I saw you guys are putting in a drain on the building back to the street. Did I read that correctly? I don't know where I saw it. I was just trying to find it again. Something so if the water got left on at the um, that the ball field, that it would drain somewhere. Did I? Maybe I'm mistaken. I, I thought I read that somewhere. No. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. The, the the valve will close. If it gets left on for too long, or, or so is it one like we're just you have to hold it to keep it on? Right, like for washing dishes and stuff. You hold it and then you let go. It's it's gone. It's off. Okay. Okay. Right, and the water for the first year is um, not going to be on all the time. 
you're right, because the um, yeah. motion. That That's the motion. Um, with special events and right. baseball games. Baseball games. Yeah, I mean, and that's for the first down the road, maybe we could uh, maybe leave it out all summer, maybe. I think this is like a time of the year. Th this is like a trial run. So yeah. if things go well, and we don't have problems that come in this first year with the limited use, then we can definitely talk about other other oh. things. I wonder though if if, the, if there's no water. And somebody comes up to that faucet, if they're not going to end up being angry that the okay. faucet doesn't work and then proceed to bail. Well, I think you just need to have a sign on it saying. Yeah, yeah. Sort of available for only yeah. special events? Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we just had similar, but it's like we just need some sort of so that way they know don't keep cranking on it. Well, water's only turned on for town events. Yeah. 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 I.e., it's, it's yeah. games. Yeah, because. Otherwise, yeah, I think people mess for a while because if they're really hot and they want to fill their water bottle or they, they want to drink and they see that thing and it's not turned on, it's going to be pretty aggravating. But, uh, so I hope that that we could get it at least turned on for the hottest months of the year or something. Um, not just special events. Yeah. Down the road. Yeah, down the road. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed that everything it's gonna go well. Yeah. Um, can I just make sure, um, Julie? So, if we put the uh, amounts aside, like you were saying, the, the six hundred and the, the twelve hundred mm -hmm. for billows, then how? What's the the drop? I mean, when do we have to get the work actually done? Like, what's the? If there's no timetable. Okay. So, I'll have to check. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Okay. Great. Yeah. All set. Yeah. Did, you, did you need anything on the security stuff? On oh, the cameras? Are you well, waiting? We've made um, our choices, but I mean, we stayed well under the uh, thousand dollars that we approved in the last meeting. Um, it's going to be the same um, security vendor that you guys use, I guess, for this building. Um, is it Rio? Rio Link. Yeah, Rio Link. And uh, so all together, I think these, the stuff we want to uh, give Julie to order could be 655. So do you, I, I know I read in the notes that you were going to do the water first and then do the security system. I did some math and without the $50, for the meter, um, it comes to 2480, which is under the 27 figure that you had budgeted. So, since you are under kind of a time frame, I don't know if we want to suggest that to get the security equipment now. Yeah. What does the select board that. think? I mean, that's my idea. That's my well, feeling, but I wonder what everyone else see. thinks. We just wanted to make sure we got the water, uh, and you know we felt good about the water first before, and we and from this meeting I feel like we are pretty, you know, it's a pretty safe bet. Especially uh, if we could get help with that six hundred figure that could be done by the town. Yeah, and so I am gonna, uh, we do want to go ahead and order the security camera because I feel pretty confident we'll get. We'll be able to do the water for the 1200 and the 600 so do you, do you need a computer for it or is it just the no, you just we, need a monitor need a mo and i have a monitor down in the basement that can go great okay. so. where do you think you were gonna uh, just put them on around the the yeah we the, were actually the thinking network. maybe so there's four cameras we're thinking um we would put like three like on different parts of the building there uh, to kind of make sure we can see every, as much of the area as possible. And we were thinking putting one inside the building, uh, just so that you know if some 
but he thinks they might be caught and they try to get in the building to destroy something, we catch him twice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But that was just a thought, yeah. Okay. The wire, the wire that you're going to use, is it coax or cat six? It's cat six. Do you yeah. need some? Um, well, we might, but I think I have a spool at home. Okay. But I've got four or five hundred feet. Oh, there, so great. That's awesome. Yeah. Just, I have somebody get a hold of me, so. Okay. I'd love to find a home for it. <laughs> <laughs> My house is wired. I bought a whole roll. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll keep that in mind. I, I think also placing one that kind of points at the uh, porta potty, too, just because we've had that vandalized yeah, twice definitely. would be. Yeah, yes. Yep. Cool. Okay. Good enough. Thanks, Emil. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, so we all. Thanks, Emil. Bye, Monica. Good to see you. So, energy is. I brought that wire out here for you. I'll leave it here with Julie. Okay. I go by here all the time. I'll just drop it off. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Wait, you want some too? No. <laughs> So I guess I thought somebody was coming from energy, but that's no, not, not the case. Oh. I guess we have a So we had a couple of our fees we provided us with. Yeah. Sandy, is this, isn't this pretty much what nobody would bid on before? Um, he did take out the blower test requirement, which the Energy Committee added in two years ago at my suggestion to take it out because, you know, it's difficult enough to get a painter to bid on a job if you add things like they have to conduct a before and after blower test. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so they... So they took that out. Ken came in and reviewed it, the whole thing again, and he took that out. The uh, Energy Committee put in a requirement to hand paint everything. Jay, er, Ken took that out too, and they can use spray if they wanted. He said the Energy Committee's RFP that they put together in two, two years ago was a pizza galley sized RFP and not appropriate for the normal contractor. Which I said all along and Jay got very angry with me. <laughs> uh, I had to say told you so, but... <laughs> okay. Okay. So what's the board's pleasure with these? Um, do you need a motion? Yeah. Um, Let's see. And there's contract one, contract three, and contract four. Is that correct? No, those are going to be later. We oh, just have so two. So just contract one right now? No, we have two. We one is two. for painting and window sealing, and the other is for identifying air sealing. sealing leaks and yes. insulation. Okay. So um, I make a motion to um, approve the the bids. To be put out to qualified paint contractors and to qualified contractors for the town of Wallingford. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. The other thing was the Energy Committee uh, recommended the appointment of Tom Fort to the to the committee. They had an opening. Okay. Uh, and it's recommended. Tom. So, yeah. Okay. 
Tom is actually on our conservation committee too. Oh. Do you need a I motion? I think he'd make a good member. Okay. Do we need a motion? Or by consensus? Or consensus? Or by consensus. Okay. Yep. yep. Good yep. to go. I think that's it for do we, yeah. community stuff. Do we want to do sidewalks? Okay. So at the last meeting, um, we approved hiring VHB consultants for uh, designing the school street sidewalks. And, uh, We've got a copy of the contract from uh, Stephanie now. And basically, I, we're just looking, do you guys want to authorize me to sign it? Do we need a motion? Stephanie, Stephanie went above and beyond. This just never happens oh. this quick, ever. Because VTrans had to approve it. Right. I mean, this was very quick to get this turned around so yeah because he said typically we, it's a three-month process do we need a motion yeah i would do a motion on this I, I would make a motion to um have bruce um date and sign our contract agreement with vhp consultants Second. those in favor aye aye, aye. Look, are they getting up to our house, Kathy? They are. They They're are. going to go all the way to the to the end. They're going to go until I think once we get past your house, it's solid sidewalk. It's okay. Good to yeah. go. So it's going to end with that amount. No, okay. It's going all the way. It's going all it's the way. Going. Never. Good. Never mind. It's going Great. all the way, <laughs> and I think the sidewalks on the other side are being done too. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Oh, excellent. To yeah. To, to, uh, to uh, prospect. Or hillside. Yeah. Well, no, because the you cross where over to hillside. Where it stops now. Where it stops now. It stops now. Yes, stops where, for, where, forever. It's, it's going to stop where it already stops. Okay. Yeah. I feel a jolt that I want a sidewalk. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All I can say is it's about time. We're getting chunks of bad. You should see the amount of asphalt I, that came I up this five. last winter. I'm sure it's in yeah. my driveway right now. It's basically dirt. <laughs> It's coming at the perfect time. Um, it doesn't look like Phil's going to make it tonight. Yeah. But. We just also need, um, you can do this by consensus if you want, to approve sh adding Shana Lillis as a project designer to the VHB personnel list. She wasn't on the original list, so you'd need to sign to approve her. So would we have consensus then? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Now, is there anything we need to do for road commission tonight? Was there anything that needed to be approved? Um, I had a couple of things I wanted to bring up. Okay. Concerning the road crew. Oh. Quite a while ago, probably. I think it was before we actually hired Lori. The board stated that we wanted the road crew to work five days a week in the summer, five eight-hour days. Yes. And uh, I see the states there; they've gone back to four ten-hour days. Uh, nobody gave them permission to do that. And I, I am very strongly opposed to the 10 hour days. Um, I think it, it ends up not being efficient and... I mean, I know that's the way it was in the past. During the summer, they went to four 10 hour days because they get more done in a 10 hour day than they do in an eight hour day. Yeah, I don't agree, <coughs> I don't agree with that and the board... Right, but, but that's what, what used to be, so... So can we ask them to return to the five eight-hour days? We can if it's the consensus of the board. Right? Do we have any just data to say that whether or not which one works better during the summer, or we just have a gut feeling? 
I don't think we have data here. I, I know when I worked for General Electric and when I worked for Tamarans and Procter and Gamble, we all they all did studies, and they found after eight hours, people's productivity just oh for sure yeah. Geez, going back to ten. Only a very few places. Yeah. <laughs> Not the entire. No, no, no. I'm just <laughs> okay. I mean, if it's the consensus of the board, it... I mean, it's fine. to me, it's fine. I, I, I'm a. The only reason I, I think of the <laughs> ten-hour day is because that gives them an hour to goof in the morning, eight hours to do their work, and an hour to goof in the afternoon. Where if you put them on four, he's recording. I know. Um, you put them on four <laughs> or five, eight-hour days. You're only getting about six hours of work out of it. That's all. There's studies that go both ways. Yes, uh, right. So it doesn't matter to me because either either one. I mean, maybe even we say like we want you. We we, we never approved of you guys going to That's the five thing. five because that is you're right. That is the <laughs> idea is that they didn't approve it. Approve that. If you have a case for why it's going to work better in this the the summer, then bring that to us. But then we will make a decision based on that. Because, I mean, if they say, oh, well, we can work longer because we have more daylight, then maybe that is worth it. But Or, or if it's a matter of a project where it's right. like, to load up and unload a vehicle. But know, if it's, yeah. if it's to ha have the purpose of having a three-day weekend, then no. <laughs> well, the other thing is there were some pe townspeople that complained that there was never a road. Yeah. Nobody around Which I on there I completely today. can yeah. see that that could be a yeah. thing. So... Yes, yeah, so it would have to be like if they did want to do four hours, they'd have to make sure that mm -hmm. they weren't all off on Friday or off on Monday. They'd have to have staggered. some kind of. It'd yeah. have to be staggered. They just need to provide some reason why they did it without. I'm a, I'm a big advocate for four day work weeks. So. <laughs> but at the right. same time, yeah. It doesn't yeah. always they work for everything. And also, the big, like, you're right, Bruce, that the beginning <laughs> of this is they didn't do it. They didn't ask for this or they didn't say. They just did it. So. Yeah, right. That's what I would say. And they didn't do it last year, right? No. Okay. Right, because we... It's still fresh in their mind or whatever. I mean. Okay. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. <You're good. laughs> there you go. You happy? Yeah. yeah thank and you. the other thing I wanted to bring up um, with the recent accident with Lori there, um, they didn't have any road signs out. And part of the finding of our insurer was that they didn't have road signs out and they need to do that. Um, Wasn't there uh, also something on a backup camera? They don't have a backup camera? Yeah, that, that may not be practical. Okay. Either, but, but the road signs, there should have been road signs on. There should have been. Yeah, every job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every job, and, and I think when Sandy gets back from vacation, we could ask her to draft a letter just stating that, you know, working safely is the condition of your employment. And yeah, especially also because we got that grant last year to get all the new roadwork mm -hmm. signs and everything yes, else. So exactly. it's not like we don't have them available. So we need to use them. Yeah, you know, don't have to be. You don't want flaggers. Just just right. work okay. at. That's it. Yeah. Well, to have the proper signage up, you and can't just, be safe if you right. don't know that something coming up. And just failure to follow these procedures mm -hmm. can result in the disciplinary action. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. We have crews shut down daily because they don't have the proper sign facts. Yeah. State drives by them and said, you're done. Get out. See so you in a couple we, weeks. Can, so you get the right back. Can we agree to this by consensus? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was the other two things that I wanted to bring up. Okay. Oh, okay. The road crew, so. Um... Is there anything else we need to talk about on that, Sandy? Or? You have the thing about um, the truck, the West Hill Road street sign, yeah, the yeah. arrow. Yeah. Route I've one. sent everything to VLCT while it's not covered under our insurance because it's not listed. Right. Our street signs are not listed in our insurance. She said part of their um, service is to help us collect. Okay. So okay. that was always my point anyways, is for 
DLC to help us collect from. Okay. She sent me an email today and asked me because I have a picture of the some of the stuff and um, she said I need pictures of all of it. So I called the broker and I said, "Where's the West Hill sign and some of that? They were never recovered." So I don't know if they're down in the brush in the embankment that the car went and drove down there, but they don't know where those signs are, okay. or if they got thrown in a tollway or something. But okay. I mean. <laughs> That bend on that corner. Hmm. That's the corner. Okay. 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 I think the only thing we have left is select board comments and concerns. Any concerns from anybody? So, other business. So, Elephant Lake is opened on Saturday. Yep. Wasn't a very good day for him. <laughs> no. right. well, Adam told me there was a large party, 25 people there. They stayed for most of the day. Oh. Really? Yes, really. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you and they all paid. They got, it water. was like $80 they made. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Well, good. So... There's something positive to report. So the, the other thing, uh, Sam McGroom still hasn't obtained a lifeguard certificate, right? No. Nope. Has he signed uh, any indication he signed up for a program or found one? No. Nope. It's discouraging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we based his salary. Something to well, right. we did. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. the fact that he was going to be yes, a lifeguard. Okay. I'm wondering if we should retract that. I, might need I to. would think at least some notification saying, please, where are you at this? Otherwise, yes. Otherwise we'll have to reassess. Right. Because we, we was pretty much hired and pay based on that. Right, right. right. And we made other employment decisions mm -hmm. because we thought we were going to have that. Right. He has something booked somewhere. Oh, nope, you know, it's only a weekend. When it doesn't take long, as right. long as it's planned. Yeah. Yes. And the town are you, are you typing that letter out now, Julie or Sandy? Because you're leaving in the morning, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll send him an email, but he doesn't answer his emails. I'll. I can get word out to him that he needs to look at this ASAP. Well, I sent, I sent several messages and phone calls. So. I just saw him a half an hour ago before this meeting. I'll get word out to him. <laughs> Bring the hurt. <laughs> <laughs> a wrath of the Yes. And borrow Bruce's hammer. <laughs> Where's that gavel? Yes. <laughs> Finally, the town received a check in the amount of $5,600 as a reimbursement for the degree blower through the grants and aid equipment program. So. Okay. We've covered everything for tonight. Yeah. Excellent. I'm going to make a motion. You make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Move. No. no, you got it. Okay, I'll second. <laughs> All those in favor. Aye. 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 Aye.